Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve the equation uh, involving log and uh, the log have the different base. Let's look at the question, uh, example number one. Uh, we have a uh, two log three base of x minus log x to the base of three plus one equals to zero. We need f uh, we first need to change the both of the log so that they have the same base. So now we have a log uh, with the base of x and base of 3. Normally, I would choose the base to be a known number. Alright, so for this question, I'm going to change this log 3 to the base of x into uh, log x to the base of 3. So this is the formula of uh, changing uh, the base. And uh, the second term will remain log x to the base of 3 plus 1 equals to 0. After that, we're going to multiply all the term by the log x to the base of 3. Then the first term will become 2. Second term will become log x to the base of 3 square plus 1 multiplied by log x to the base of 3. That will be log x to the base of 3. And I will multiply all the term by negative 1 so that this uh, log x to the base of 3 square will become the positive. Yeah? The sign in front of it will be positive. And uh, this will be negative log x to the base of 3. 2 will be negative 2 equals to 0. After that, uh, I will substitute the uh, one of the symbol. I take the a to represent the log x to the base of 3. So my equation will become like this. a squared minus a minus 2 equals to 0. So you can see now my equation is actually a quadratic equation. Then I'm using the method of quadratic equation to solve the, uh, this equation by factorizing this, uh, this uh, quadratic form. I'll have a 2, uh, sorry, a, a, 2, 1, negative, positive. So you have a, a equals to 2, a equals to negative 1. Then we will substitute back the a as a log x to the base of 3 equals to 2. And another set of solution is a log x to the base of 3 equals to negative 1. So how are we going to solve this equation? We're going to uh, change this back into the index form. Okay, convert this equation back to the index. I got my x equals to 3 power of 2. That is x equals to 9. And for the second set of the solution is the x equals to the 3 power of negative 1, which is a 1 over 3. Alright, then uh, we have to check the answer uh, to check, see whether we are going to accept both of the solution or either one. So how do we check uh, the answer? We're just going to be uh, to substitute the 9 inside the x, put a, nine, put a 9 inside this x, and then we use calculator to calculate those value. We'll, if we got this value, uh, the left-hand side value is equal to 0, which is equal to the right-hand side, then the 9 will be accepted. After that, we're going to check with the uh, x equals to 1 over 3. Substitute x equals to 1 over 3 inside for another set of solution. Put in the 1 over 3 into the x and then you can use a calculator to help you to calculate the, those value. Uh, just press your calculator log 3 over log 1 over 3. It will give you the value of the log 3 to the base of 1 over 3. And for the log x to the base of 3, just put in the 1 over 3, then have take your calculator, press the calculator on the button log x, uh, log 1 over 3, over log 3. It will give you the value of the log 1 over 3, base of 3. Then uh, you uh, combine them, uh, follow the according to the operation given here, and check whether the left hand side equals to 0. Okay, and after I have checked, I will, uh, the both of the answer, both of the solution is accepted because uh, both of them uh, satisfy the equation. So we must be, uh, we, we have to write our choice, write down our choice, x equals to 9, x equals to 1 over 3. Okay, to show that we have made our choice uh, of our uh, final answer. 
All right. Now we proceed to the next example. My next example is a log x to the base of 3 plus log 9 to the base of x equals to 3. Again, check with the base. I'm going to convert all of them into the base 3. Okay, so this is a positive. I will change the, the second term of log into the base 3. I have log 9 to the base of 3 over log x to the base of 3 equals to 3. And then after that, I'm going to multiply all the term by a log x to the base of 3. Here, I have a log x to the base of 3 square plus 2. Why? Why we got 2? Because a log 9 to the base of 3. 9 always can be written as a 3 square and uh, bring the 2 to the front, you got a 2 multiplied by 1, which is equivalent to 2. And the log x to the base of 3 just cancel off with the uh, log x to the base of 3 that you are multiplied with. And uh, 3 multiplied by log x to the base of 3, you have a 3 log x to the base of 3. Then now I'm going to arrange them nicely in the form of quadratic form. All right, then uh, you can uh, represent the a as a log x to the base of 3. We have uh, a square minus 3a plus 2 equals to 0. Then next, we can factorize it. Okay, and uh, check. You can always expand back uh, check whether your factorization is correct. Then uh, from here, I got my a equals to 2, a equals to 1. Then uh, I need to substitute back the a as a log x to the base of 3 equals to 2. Change this back into the index form. This is the log equation. So in order to solve for the x, I'm going to change this back into the index form. I got my 3 square, which is x equals to 9. And for the second equation, I got my log x equals to 3 equals to 1. x equals to 3 power of 1, which is x equals to 3. So again, I got two answers. Always uh, need to check your answer. You can substitute the x as a 9 first. Check. Okay, 9. I put 9 in my x. And then calculator. From your calculator, you can... Uh, Press your calculator uh, in this way. That is uh, pressing the log 9 over log 3 as if that you are changing the log into the base 10 plus log 9 over log 9. Okay, so uh, I think you will get the, the value equals to 3. So we say that the x uh, equals to 9 will be accepted as your answer as one of your solution and now it's a turn for us to check the x equals to 3 put in the x equals to 3 inside you will have a log 3 to the base of 3 which is equivalent to 1 in the first term second term will give you 2 1 plus 2 yes equals to 3 again x equals to 3 is uh, satisfying the equation so both of the answers is going to be accepted as your final answer. So write down your choice. That is x equals to 9 and x equals to 3. For this equation, again, we can see that uh, first term of log having the base of x and the second term having the base of 4. So I'm going to change the base first into the base of 4. So firstly, that will be log 4 to the base of 4 over log 4, uh, sorry, log x to the base of 4. Yeah, this is uh, uh, applying the formula of changing base. Plus, the second term will remain as a log x to the base of 4 plus 7 equals to 0. In order to solve this, I'm going to uh, multiply all the term by the log x to the base of 4. Then I have a 12 for the first term because the log 4 to the base of 4 equivalent to 1 plus log x to the base of 4 square plus 7 log x to the base of 4 equals to 0. And we always can uh, put the x to represent our log x to the base of 4. So uh, I have my a square plus 7a 
plus 12 equals to 0. So this is a very standard form, very standard form for the general uh, equation. Now I'm using the method of uh, solving the uh, quadratic equation to solve for the a first. I got my a multiplied by a, which uh, produce a square. And uh, 4, 3. Why I use 4, 3? Because uh, for a plus 3 a's, you will get 7 a's. In order to get positive, here need to be uh, positive. So you have uh, a equals to negative 4 and a equals to negative 3. Then you need to substitute back the a as a uh, log x to the base of 4. This is equal to negative 4. Then uh, to solve for the x, we need to convert this equation back into the uh, index form, which you have uh, 4 to the base of, uh, sorry, 4 power of negative 4. This is equal to 1 over 2, 5, 6. And uh, for the second equation, using the same uh, similar method to solve it, change this equation back into the uh, index form, you get a 4 power of negative 3. Then uh, x equals to 1 over 64. Again, put your 1 over 2, 5, 6 into the original equation and then put your 1 over 64 into your original equation to check whether these two uh, solutions is it they are satisfying the equation? How do you check? You put in the those uh, value into the x one by one. All right. First, we put one over two five six into x, and then calculate with your calculator. See if your left hand side is it equals to zero, and then uh, second second uh, solution you put one over sixty four into the x. Okay, and then again use your calculator to calculate for you then you will get uh, the left-hand value is actually equals to zero. Okay, so now make your choice. You will say that you are accepting both of the solution. The x equals to 1 over 2, 5, 6, or the x might be equals to 1 over 64. And this is the last example in this video. Um, actually, we are using the similar approach to solve it. Again, changing, changing the uh, base into the base of 3. So I have my uh, log 3 to the base of 3 over log x to the base of 3 minus, how about this one, x uh, square root of x. I always can uh, write this as uh, x power of 1 over 2. And this is equal to 3 over 2. Alright, slightly adjust it. I got my 2 over log x to the base of 3 minus 1 over 2 always can move to the front by applying the loss of log. And this is equals to 3 over 2. So in order to uh, make this into the quadratic form, I'm going to multiply all this term by the 2 log x to the base of 3. Why the multiply by 2? Because I want to eliminate this, uh, the denominator uh, as 2. So when you have a 2 over log x to the base of 3 multiplied by 2 log x to the base of 3, you will have a 4. Because 2 multiplied by 2, 4, and the log x to the base of 3 cancel off each other. And this uh, for this term, you will have a log x to the base of 3 squared. 3 over 2 multiplied by log x to the base of 3, you will have a 3 log x to the base of 3. Arrange them nicely, okay? or you may substitute the a as a log x to the base of 3. You will get this uh, a square. I move to the other side. I got my a square plus 3a minus 4 equals to 0. Then we use the quadratic method to solve for the a first. You have your 4, 1, positive, negative. So a, the first a is negative 4 and second a equals to 1. Substitute back your a as a log x to the base of 3. You got this. So after we have solved for the x, the first x is 1 over 81. And the second x is a 3. Finally, checking. After the checking, you will see that you are going to accept uh, both of the answer as your solution. So x equals to 1 over 81 or x equals to 3. Alright, thank you for watching.